As you and I begin working more and more with computers and networks, one term is going to come up a lot, and that is the idea of an IP address, the Internet Protocol Address. And in this video, we're going to identify what the heck it is and why we care. And let's begin this discussion with the idea of an address in general. In fact, I'd like you to think just for a moment, think about the place that you are right now. There's a good chance that the building or apartment or home that you're in has uh, at least a couple basic parts to its address. And those would include at least a street name, and that street name may be called Elm Street or 10th Street or something else. And the individual building on that street is also gonna have a number, like a house number or a apartment number or a building number. And I'd like you to think of the, those two pieces of information for an address, a street and the actual house, like an IP address. Because in the world of IP networks, as far as addressing goes, those are the two main parts. We have a street name that's common for all the devices on that same street, except we call it a network. And then we have individual house numbers that represent each of the hosts on that specific street. So here in this diagram, I've got two streets. I've got 10th Street right here, and I've got 172nd Street right here. And I've got Bob, who lives on 10th Street, and Lois, who lives on 10th Street. And here in this color, those are, those are their house numbers. So if we ever need to send mail to Bob or Lois, we could send it to 10th Street and then House 5 for Bob and 10th Street and House 7 for Lois, and that mail could be delivered. And then over here on 172nd Street, we have Dina in House number 4, and we have Keith in House number 6. And that way they're uniquely identified, the two basic components. We have a street name and a house number. Now, the reason that's important is because that's how IP addresses work in computer networks today. In IP networks, we also have street names, except instead of calling them street names, we call them networks. Sometimes they're referred to as a network ID, but think of a network like a street name that's common to all the devices. And then individual devices on those networks like printers and Macintosh or Apple computers and Linux and Windows, every device on that street, on that network is also gonna have its own house address, except they don't call them a house address, they call it a host address. So we could have Bob's computer could be host address number five and Lois's computer could be host address seven on the 10 network. Again, it's just two basic components, a street name and a house number, except with computers, it's a network ID or the network, and then the actual host address on that network. And let's extend that example over here to 172nd Street. If this is a computer network with IP, this could be the 172 network. And then on that network, 172, we could have Dina's computer at four. That would be the host address or the house address on that common street. And then Keith could be six, house address or host address six on the 172 network. So now check this out. If somebody comes up to us and says, hey, what exactly is an IP address? We could say, you know what? It's a lot like a street name and a house number on that street because that's how it works in the world of IP. And I'd like to share with you one more little tidbit regarding how this works if somebody on street 10, for example, Bob, wants to communicate with Keith, who's over on street 172. And it would go something like this. If the goal is Bob communicating to Keith, Bob would go ahead and say, wow, I live on 10th street and Keith is over on 172nd street. That's a different street. <laughs> so what it's going to do, instead of trying to reach me directly, it's going to forward the information that needs to get to me to this middleman, this forwarder, a helper, a mail person. And in networking, we call this a router. And that's what routers do for a living. They take packets, messages from one network, and then they forward it till it gets to the destination network, in this case, from the 10 network to the 172 network, so it can be finally delivered to Keith at my computer, which in this example is the host address, or like the house number of number six. And that's how routers facilitate the forwarding of packets or data in a computer network today. And I'd like to leave you with two thoughts. One is I would encourage you within the next 48 hours to share this information with somebody else. If they already know it, great. It's really for your practice. So you can help remind yourself that IP addressing is a lot like a house address. It has a street name as part of it and a host or a house number associated with it. And those are the two main parts. Also, one of the challenges that comes up is, wait a sec, aren't there like, you know, 11 billion computers on the internet and, and so forth, and don't they all need IP addresses? And the answer is yes, they do. <laughs> and manually configuring all those addresses on each and every device is too tedious and painful. So we are gonna use an automated method, which we'll cover in the next video that automatically hands out IP addresses, both the network and the house numbers to individual clients so it can be an automated process and much, much easier. Now, if you want to really understand IP addressing and something else called subnetting, I would encourage you to check out 
the playlist called Subnet Saturdays. I'll put a link for it right there so you can go ahead and grab it. And that playlist right here on the Keith Barker YouTube channel will walk you through the nitty gritty details, starting with the basics of IPv4 addresses, and it will build and build and build. So if you are brand new to IP addressing or you've been working with it for a while but want to get really, really good, check out that playlist, the Subnet Saturdays, and enjoy the learning. All right, I'll catch you in the next live event. Till then, be well, be happy, and be nice to others. Bye for now.